We're with Tony Kanan and his wife Lauren moments after the, he has announced that he is retiring after the Indy 500. Why are you leaving the Indy 500 after May's race? So I'm not leaving. I'm not driving anymore. But you know, I think it was. It's time. Uh, we 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 thought about it. We talked about it. Uh, this place has been awesome to me. We made Indy home. But you know, it's time. I think uh, we'll do one last dance driving the car, and then I can come here and probably enjoy race day with you guys, you know, just <laughs> interviewing people and driving the pace car. I said, I, I made a joke to Doug Bowles. I said, Doug, this is my final Indy 500, but I can still get to lead a lap maybe the following year if you get me the pace car to drive. You talked today about your emotions and what that will feel like on your final race day. Can you take us through those emotions as you visualize racing for the final time here? I'm trying not to because I think you know, race day, we all know how emotional it is already, let alone knowing it's my last one. So I think I'll be crying a lot. Uh, Lauren said she's probably not going to wear any mascara as well because she will be too. But, uh, you know, it's going to be emotional for sure. But it's it's been a great a great run. I can't, I can't thank the fans enough. I think uh, I'm here and I am who I am because of them. So uh, we'll give them one more, one more run. You finished third last year. There are a lot of people that think, why not give it another go in 2024? Well, we're giving it another go in 2023. Mm -hmm. And if we win, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the door open. Lauren, what was the discussion like with uh, Tony about this retirement at home? Um, you know, we, we talked about it for a little while. And I've always said I, re I, I do really trust his judgment. He knows what it feels like in the car and when it would be time. I simply asked. Um, obviously, he's got a lot of people behind him and sponsors who all wanted to be part of a year like this, which is really incredible. We're fortunate for that. I simply said, is this what you want? And he said it is. So I have to trust that and just I'll cry a little bit myself, I guess, because I sure will hate um, not getting to see him do it any longer. But it's true. Maybe I'll be a lot less trust myself <laughs> on race days going forward. So. He says he's okay, so I'm okay. You've got four kids. What's the reaction been like with the kids hearing that dad's going to stop racing in the Indy 500? Well, actually, knowing my kids, uh, they are excited because I can spend the race with them at the bus at the at this track. So, uh, obviously, Leo, the oldest, is kind of like, you know, asking some questions. Is it? The other three are, you know, they're they're young enough that I don't think they realize exactly what's going on. As long as they can get to to come to the track, which we will be here regardless, they're fine. If this were a Hollywood movie, what would be the perfect ending come race day in May? Well, Hollywood is, you know, the perfect ending will be Tony Kanan passes, I'm not going to name anybody, otherwise I'm going to put somebody <laughs> on the spot, passes the, for the lead, going into turn three on the last lap, wins the race, gets in the podium, put all his four kids and his wife, on top of his 66 era McLaren car. Um, and we dropped the mic. That's, that's a perfect ending. That yeah. is a perfect ending. You've had a terrific career, TK. Thanks for all the memories. Thank you very much. Yeah, Lauren, great to talk to you Thanks, as well. Scott.